Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Be sure to interact with the video. YouTube loves that. I mean, advertisers love that. And YouTube love advertisers. And I get paid by advertisers. So make sure, first of all, that you even have ads enabled. And when by interact, that means click the thumbs up or thumbs down button, leave a comment, read other people's comments, and click their thumbs up or thumbs down, share the video, and ultimately subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. Do that for me because you love my content. Anyway, let's talk about are we staring into the void? Are we really welcoming the rise of the machine? And by we, I'm talking about a very specific person. Moore's Law says computing will double every six months. That was great at first, but we're here in 2020. And Intel and AMD announced chips with 90 cores. We thought that was impossible in 1990, but we're here. And the limitation of Moore's Law is quickly coming to the wall. Everybody understand what I mean by the wall? But wait, scientists around the world are testing electron computers, nuclear computers, carbon computers, liquid computers, any technology which we can get into and explore till it's exhausted to keep Moore's Law going. But I think they've stumbled on to the final destination. It's called quantum computing. And of course, don't stop there. They want to put that into a robot. So they're researching quantum AI. So what's quantum computing? You know how computers are based on ones and zeros? You can either have something on or off. Well, quantum computing takes that a step further. You can have both or any combination of it. And to double the computing power of a quantum com computer, you simply add another set of ones and zeros versus a real computer you have to add an entire new core right or actually double the amount of cores that the machine already has right so we went from one chip to two chips to quad chips 16 chips right these computers you simply add another one or zero this means that the quantum computer can think up several more options, while the other computer can only think of on or off. But get this, the really to really achieve quantum computing, you have to get down to the molecular level. No, scratch that. You have to get down to the atomic level to the point where you can see electrons. But even more than that, to do that level of computing, you have to achieve the quantum state, which is only achievable if you make sure all of atom activity has stopped. This is done by getting close to absolute zero temperatures. So they have a facility uh, in California, I believe, where it gets colder than outer space. This stops everything and it surpasses the speed of 10,000 of the world's fastest computers now. It can solve problems in minutes that will literally take the other computers hundreds of years to solve. I want you to keep that in mind when people talk about uh, they've invented a computer uh, faster than a human or more intelligent than a human. I, I want to tell you all something right now. Let me deviate from the script for a second. Human intelligence, all of you, Every single one of you, even the dumbest person that you know, humans operate at a, at a super quantum level. That means that this computer that they're trying to research and they're trying to say that they're going to make uh, smarter than a human, we haven't even begun to touch the surface of human intelligence. Now, they have a computer now, this quantum computer, that can solve problems in minutes that would take other computers hundreds of years to find the solution. And this they want to put into a robot. But wait, the founder of the company, D-Wave, you can look him up here on YouTube, he gave a TED Talk speech, and D-Wave is the company, 
D apostrophe wave, which Google and NASA and Apple have all pumped millions of dollars into, finished his TED talk by saying, in 10 years, he hopes to replace humans with his robot, with quantum AI. Thank you all for watching. Please donate. Uh, I tried to do the PPP. I tried to do the uh, stimulus business stuff, and they said uh, they didn't. They didn't see where I had suffered from, uh, or I didn't indicate that I had suffered anything from the uh, from the lockdown. I don't know what they're talking about. I said I have no more money. <laughs> uh, any any anything to deny people, right? Because it's their money. Although the they've poured what trillions of dollars into the program I, I don't know what they're doing thank you all for watching but donate at paypal or cash app i'll leave the links in the comment thank you